Hi everyone, welcome to Living a Balanced Life with Julio. My name is Julia Poku. I'm a registered nurse and a diabetes educator. On today's episode, we're going to talk about hypertension or high blood pressure. Have your doctor warn you that your blood pressure is getting high? Are you taking medication for hypertension? Either way, I have some tips to help you manage your blood pressure, prevent yourself from getting blood pressure if you don't have um, high blood pressure yet, and some tips that we can include into our day-to-day -day, uh, act activity to help us uh, maintain a healthy body and prevent hypertension and its complication. If you're interested, please stay with me. So what is blood pressure? Your blood pressure is the force or the pressure of your, uh, of your blood against the walls of the vessels as your blood move around or circulate throughout your body. Blood pressure is measured in two numbers, the systolic blood pressure, which is the top number, and the diastolic um, blood pressure, which is the bottom number. Um, the systolic blood pressure um, indicates it's when your heart is contracting or pushing blood throughout your body. And your diastolic um, represents the uh, pressure when your, body, your heart is relaxed and is filling um, with blood. So the diastolic number is expected to be lower because that's when your heart is relaxed and filling blood. And the systolic pressure is expected to be a little bit high um, because it's when your heart is contracting and moving um, blood throughout your body. Your um, blood pressure, the normal blood pressure is about 120 over 80 or less for most people. That's the ideal, that's the target blood pressure. If your blood pressure is above that, then you can use some lifestyle um, um, lifestyle changes to improve um, to improve that number. It's important for you to know what your blood pressure number is so you know what to do, uh, whether you are normal or if you need to do something to help um, prevent um, hypertension from happening. So what is hypertension then? Hypertension is when your systolic, which is the when your heart is contracting, the pressure is about 140 and uh, over 90, the diastolic. So 140 over 90 or higher is called hypertension. And when your the pressure in your vessels are this high, it can lead to many diseases. It can cause a lot of complications that can affect your body negatively. So there are a lot of um, there's a lot of um, tips that you can help you uh, prevent um, hypertension. Um, from getting worse. So if you're someone that's already diagnosed with hypertension, tips to help you manage your blood pressure better. And if you don't have hypertension, tips to help you um, prevent hypertension from um, occurring. Um, the World Health Organization um, report that 1.1 billion people in the world have hypertension and um, only one out of five have it under control. Four, uh, one out of four men have hypertension and one um, one out of five women have, have hypertension. So as you can see uh, here, the stats, um, hypertension is something that as a disease that's um, is, 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 is quite um, common and is affecting a lot of people negatively. But the, the good news is that there are so many things out there, uh, so many tips that can help you manage um, your blood pressure. So how does a person get hypertension? Um, the exact what, uh, the exact cause of hypertension is not known, but there are risk factors that can increase a person's risk of getting hypertension. So some of the risk factors you can control, some you can't control. Um, uh, the risk factors that you, yeah, that you can control, um, so if you're someone that's um, overweight or obese, someone that smokes, someone that drinks um, a lot of alcohol, someone that's not doing any kind of exercise, so inactivity, um, people that have sleep problems like sleep apnea, people that have high stress, all of these are, um, are factors that increases a person's risk of getting hypertension. Some factors that you can control but it still increases your risk of getting hypertension include your gender. So men tend to have hypertension more than women and um, your family history. We don't choose our family, we get what we get. So if there's a family history of hypertension, it doesn't mean you're going to get it, but it increases your risk of getting it, um, hypertension if you're not um, um, taking caution. Um, also, um, genetics, um, if you know, based on your genes, you, some people will have hypertension more than others. And one that's not doing any kind of exercise, so inactivity, um, people that have sleep problems like sleep apnea, people that have high stress, all of these are, um, are factors that increases a person's risk of getting hypertension. So having said that, the good news, like I said, is it's still manageable and it's still preventable. So there are some things that can help you uh, manage your blood pressure um, 
blood pressure from going too high because hypertension or high blood pressure can call, can lead to um, eye disease, can lead to blindness, it can lead to um, heart attacks, it can lead to stroke, it can lead to heart failure, it can lead to kidney failure, and it can lead to other complications, especially if you're someone that already have a chronic illness like diabetes or heart problem or high cholesterol. It can make it um, so much worse. So um, if you have these conditions, it's very important that you take care of yourself, you know what your blood pressure number is, and you use some of these tips that we're going to talk about to help you improve your blood pressure. So some of the things that we can do to improve our blood pressure include, of course, um, if you're someone that's overweight, losing a little bit of weight. So losing weight will help you keep your blood pressure in control. So losing about 5 to 10% of your, of your, your current body weight can help improve your, um, your health, overall health, improve, um, uh, prevent diabetes, prevent heart disease, and can prevent um, hypertension. So losing weight is um, um, it's important if you're someone that's um, over your ideal um, body weight. Um, if you drink alcohol, drinking moderately is important because if you drink, if you binge drink or you drink too much, it increases your risk of getting hypertension. So if you're going to drink one to two standard drink per day is is the require is the minimum, um, it's the minimum that you want to uh, aim at. So if you're drinking more than that, try to reduce it uh, to where you're having only one to two drinks. And standard drink is like a um, um, a beer. Compare um, a beer is one standard drink. So if you are someone that drinks more than if you drink five six beers, that's way above what their um, their recommendation. So one to two um, drinks per um, per day. Um, if you drink, um, for people that smoke, if they could quit smoking, it will increase um, increase improve their health and prevent hypertension. So smoking increases your risk of getting hypertension. Um, also, if you're someone that does not exercise, so inactivity. If you're not exercising, your blood pressure tends to be higher. So um, Health Canada recommend 150 minutes of um, aerobics exercise minimum. So that's the, um, the lowest amount that you should be doing on increase um, as you build tolerance or build strength. So if you're doing 20 minutes walk, um, um, seven days a week, you meet the minimum. If you're doing 30 minute walk, five days a week, it helps you meet the minimum. And this is important to include because they help improve your blood pressure, improve your blood sugar, prevent cholesterol from building up and improve your overall health. Um, another thing that you can do to help lower your um, blood pressure is like we talk about sleep. So people that are not getting enough sleep tend to have higher blood pressure. So making sure that if you're adult, you're getting seven to nine hours of uh, sleep. And if you're, um, if you have children, making sure they're getting 11, um, nine to 11 hours um, per night. If you're someone that get these numbers but you still wake up feeling really tired, it could be a sign that you have some underlying problem like sleep apnea. You need to speak to your healthcare provider and they can um, um, do some tests to find out um, how you're sleeping and if you're getting enough oxygen um, to your brain and to your body when you are sleeping. Making sure that you're eating a balanced diet is one way to improve your blood pressure. So make sure that you're including high grain, um, high fiber grains and starches into your um, improve your blood pressure. You can drink decaffeinated coffee um, um, so that you don't, your blood pressure doesn't go up. So that's another thing. Uh, if you are someone that have hypertension, including um, good lifestyle habits can help you reduce your risk of getting a heart attack about 25%, heart failure about 50%, and about kidney disease about 40%. So it's very important that we include some lifestyle uh, management to help us improve our blood pressure and prevent complication. Um, hypertension is called the silent killer because most people don't get any symptoms with hypertension. So some, for some people, if they don't get their blood pressure measured at the, uh, by the healthcare provider, they wouldn't know that they have um, hypertension. So it's important to know your number. Um, another very important uh, management of hypertension is salt or sodium. So watching the salt or the sodium that you are in, that's in your food. Some foods may not taste salty but still have um, sodium in them. So for example, bread have sodium in them. So um, when you're eating bread, you might think that you're not putting, you're not getting any salt, but there's salt in, in bread. So it's important to watch the amount of salt that you put in your food and not to add extra salt um, on top of um, the one that's already in the food. Um, it's recommended that for an average person to get five grams of salt or a tablespoon, um, a, table, a teaspoon, sorry, a teaspoon of um, salt per day. That's it. And that's not the salt that you're adding to your food. That's the salt that's already in foods. So because there's salt in all the foods that we eat, it's recommended not to add salt um, too much to your to your meal. So if you're someone that's diagnosed with hypertension, please reduce your salt intake. That will 
help improve your blood pressure greatly because when you do that, you are um, controlling your pressure, which will help um, prevent many complications like the eye disease, the heart disease, and kidney disease, and all of that. Right? If you're someone that have chronic illness like diabetes, it's important to keep your blood pressure um, under 130 over 80. So having diabetes in itself is very, um, it's very, uh, it's very hard on the heart. So um, having high having high sugars make your blood thick and when you have high blood pressure plus the thick blood it's just it your body has to work really hard to circulate all the um, the blood around so that in doing that it, it can lead to many 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 complications like heart attacks and strokes and all of that right so making sure that you are keeping your blood pressure under 130 over 80 when you have diabetes is very important for your health and prevent it and and, and stop you from um, getting complication along the line so that's the tips to help you if you have hypertension please take your medication as prescribed your medication is prescribed to you for a purpose um, especially if you have other comorbidities like other illnesses or other diseases it's important to take your medication because when you take your medication you're preventing complication from um, from happening to your body or um, your pressure from causing damage in the body so take your medication as prescribed if it doesn't if your body you can't take the medication um, properly like it doesn't agree with you Go back to your healthcare provider, have them take a look, reassess your blood pressure, and they can prescribe a different medication. The different medication to control blood pressure, they all works on different part of the body to get this job done. So if one doesn't work, another one might work for you. So take your medication as prescribed, include some of these healthy tips into your daily routine to help you prevent hypertension and its complication so you can live a healthy, balanced life. Please share this video with your friends, your social media um, uh, platform that you belong to so we can all work together and um, work together to help each other achieve the balance we want in our life. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Hit the red subscribe button, like, comment. If you have any questions, you can put in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. So until next time, keep active, eat healthy, um, sleep, all of that and reduce your salt intake so you can control your blood pressure and live a healthy life. Take care. Exclusive.